tragedies are deeper, the ecstasy's wilder, and the crime rate consistently higher than anywhere else. Uh, uh, oh, so New York City. All right, all right, I'm familiar. Hello, my beautiful sinners. It is I, your host with the most trips to the free clinic, Zavy. lips are juicy today, honey. All right, queens, I am so excited for today's video. We are gonna be taking a little blast from the past, okay? And I'm not talking about a blast from my ass. That was last night. I am talking about a blast from the past. We are going back to 1960, honey, and we are gonna be watching the original, The Little Shop of Horrors. Now, me being a horror lover, I was shocked, honey, that I had not seen this movie. But back in DR, let me tell you something. They would watch that movie every single night. And I don't know, that, that, that seemed like cult behavior. You, watching something every single night? Watching something every single night? Girl, unless it is the Golden Girls, I want no part of it. I understand y'all showed up probably expecting Nick and then you got this immaculate beauty. Beat it, you 50 year old mattress. But in reality, he had a little bit too much mayonnaise on his sandwich last night and he was not healthy enough to show up. So he asked me to fill in. And if there was one thing that I learned when I was living in New York City, let me tell you, honey, it was how to fill things in. <laughs> So Nick did let me know that you guys have been asking him for more public domain movies and he let me know that this was on his radar and I was like, if this is the episode that I get to fill in, honey, let me do it because I'm going to be like Tinta Turner, okay? And we are going to turn the party today, honey. All right, anyways, queens, before we get into it, if you are interested in seeing more content from Nick, then why don't you just like, subscribe, and hit that bell, honey? And I'm also fairly certain that Nick has both Instagram and Twitter slash, at least I think he does that. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I don't really go on social media. I, I don't really even like go near my computer at all. And you can probably tell from my channel if you're looking at my recent posting frequency. And if you want to see more content from him, his Patreon steals the show, steals the show, steals the show. He also has channel memberships. Now he's watching Doctor Who and stuff like that. Listen, I don't watch any of that. I prefer my content to be high class, which is why I sit at home switching back and forth between Yentl and Jason X. We need to get in this movie because honestly, I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. All right, Queens. The Film Group Presents. Ooh. My name is Dr. Joe Fink. Work from a 24 hour shift out of homicide. I like this. It's my workshop. The part of town that everybody knows about, but that nobody wants to see. Where the tragedies are deeper, the ecstasy's wilder, and the crime rate consistently higher than anywhere else. Uh, uh, oh, so New York City. All right, all right, I'm familiar. The Little Shop of Horrors. I've actually never seen, when did the, well, there's a remake, like a musical one, right? Me being as gay as I am, you would think that I would have seen it, being a musical, but. Mm. Jack Nicholson? Like the Jack Nicholson? I didn't know he was up in this movie. Music by Fred Katz. Roger Corman. I've heard of that name before. Mushnik's florist. Year in the history of my beat began in a little rundown floor shop called Mushnik's. Mushnik's. Ah, good morning, Mrs. Shiva. How's things today? Oh, the same as usual, Mr. Mushnik. My sister's nephew Stanley died in Little Rock, Arkansas. What, what the fuck do you want me to do about it? You came to the wrong place, honey. Well, you would like maybe, as usual, some flowers for the funeral. Should all acquaintance be forgot? And never brought to my... I Mariah? Possibly, uh, because I always give to you all my funeral business. And maybe you should possibly give to me uh, a little cut rate. Look on me, Mrs. Shiver. What am I, a philatelist? I sell on Skid Row nothing but cheap carnations. 
And I should give you a cut rate. I can't even afford water for the flowers. To my throat, I would be giving a cut. What, what does she think this is? A soup kitchen? Get up from the back! Excuse me. Mm. That's so masculine. He's a nice boy. Why don't you let him see? What? See? Look, here I got a new customer, brand new in the yellow vest. I should let the cleanup boy, but I can't even afford chase him out right away. Flower as fresh as the springtime, Mushniks. Hello. Oh, hello, Dr. Farb. What can I do for you today? Listen, Mushnik, I haven't got much time. Send me over two gladiators. I mean, I know all about that, sitting there for just hours on end with your mouth open. Ooh. No, 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 Mushnik. Two gladiolas and one fern. Oh! You want I should put two gladiolas in the pot with the fire. Shit! No, one fern, one piece altogether, three pieces. I need it for my waiting room. What? A filling. Not him holding the the, the, the the dental instrument as well. Crummy gladiolas among crummy fine. What kind of a decoration is that? This is my flower budget for the week, Mushnik. Who can be a dentist on Skid Row? All right, excellent. I'll send Seymour right away. Who am I to argue with science? Like it's snappy. Every time I, I hear Skid Row, I just think of the skid marks in my underwear, you know? Well, well, you know, I'd like to keep them, though. I don't like to throw them away. I don't like to wash them because, you know, when, when you just let it, like, marinate overnight and just crust over, then you could kind of, like, scrape it off a little bit with your nail, and it's kind of like seasoning for your chicken, you know? Hello, salty goodness. Hello. Did you call me, Mr. Mushnick? No. Oh, Mushnick, I'm sorry. Did you call me, No. I was calling John D. Rockefeller for to make a loan on my Rolls Royce. Sorry, I said it. Oh, he's got jokes. You take two. Seymour. Oh, is this that movie that 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 uh, suddenly Seymour? Is this that movie? Right. Don't go already. Now, what can I do for you, sir? Uh, my name is Burson Fox. Excellent. I am Gravis. Oh, Mushnick. that's um. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, chopping mall gremlins. Love him. Love him. Like maybe some orchids for a nice girl? No, I think I like a couple of dozen carnations. Um, carnations. A person can't turn around these days that somebody shouldn't drop dead. You've had more than your share of bad luck, Mrs. Sheva. Bad luck, she calls it. You should have so many people kick off. You would have somebody fall on top of you, too. What about the carnations? You said you wanted some roses. Yes, for Stanley. My carnations. You should see what that Seymour is. Oh, here are your carnations. Wait, I'll wrap them for you. No, that's you. all right. I'll leave them here. You're, you're, aren't you going to put them in a bag? Why not? Of course. What it, what? Did he just eat the flower? Right. Well, I've had better. Well, what? this is a small shop. Oh, that's okay. You know, those big places... They're full of pretty flowers, expensive flowers. He's Wait, eating the flower? Some food value. I like to eat these little out of the way places. <laughs> See, I'm into eating, but not carnations. Don't knock it until you try it, huh? Look what happened. This is what I was trying to tell you before. Look on him, everybody. Look at the quality of his work. I ask you, when I fire him, where is he going to get such another good job? You mean I'm fired? No, I'm electing you president from the United States. Yes, you are fired. Gravis, you can't do that. Who, who can't? I didn't mean it. You didn't mean it. You never mean it. You didn't mean it the time you put up mm -hmm. the bouquet with the get well card in the funeral parlor and sent the black lilies to the old lady in the hospital. You didn't mean it. But this time, I, Gravis Musnik, mean it. He means it. Do, do we have like a shortage of applicants? If, if you're having this much of an issue with him consistently, why is he still hired? Almost as much as Audrey does. Excellent, you're fired. Why don't you give him a chance to resurrect himself? I give him a chance to quit. I ain't gonna quit. Speaking of being hired, listen, the last time that I was dealing with a John and he, what? No, never mind, never mind. That's a story for another day, honey. Surprise plant just for you. I'm growing a plant like you ain't never seen before. Excellent. Mm, I would like to see it. my shop out, you. Now, wait a minute. He's got a new kind of plant you want to look at. I don't look on flowers, Mr. Yellow Vest. I got ancestors in the flower business for 200 years, but I got one shop on Skid Row. And you know where those ancestors now? With the flowers, with the dirt. I've eaten in flower shops all over the world. 
And I've noticed that the places that have the most weird and unusual plants do the best business. See? 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 What is this? See? All right. Explain me more. Well, I remember one place that had a whole wall covered with poison ivy. Look at her on the right. She is stunning. Not the far right. I mean, the far right is looking like the, you know, the old lady from Drag Me to Hell. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. But the one in the dress, she's giving like Marlena Dietrich, honey. Mm. Bring it back here. And if Mr. Yellow Vest Fouch says it's a draw, you still got a job. If he don't, out you go to vote you, right? Don't worry. You'll like it. You'll see. Uh Big ass house. Is this like a, a boarding house? Why is it so big? Radio K S I K. You've been listening to music for old invalids. Our next selection is entitled "Sick Room Serenade." Seymour, thank you. Seymour. Yeah, Ma. Uh, oh, Seymour lives with his mother. But Ma, mm. I don't your tongue. Have you no sympathy for your poor mother? Laughing at her, mocking her realness, and she's got one foot in the grave. Oh, I didn't mean it. Oh, you never mean it. Oh, come on, look at my tongue. Uh, ooh, I mean, she does look like she's got one foot in the grave. I mean, I'm more than willing to help her put the other one in there too, bitch, because uh, I work at a flower shop. You think I could afford these medical bills? Absolutely not. With you. Oh, not Dr. Mallor. He, he's one doctor I thought would tell the truth. He said you should be playing fullback for the Rams. He wants me dead. I'll bet he's assistant coroner. Well, I got a guy. Yeah, and I know I've got... My goiter is coming back. I can feel it every morning after breakfast. Yeah, that's when you take those great... Oh! Ooh, it just went up his ass. Got a little surprise for me? Open it up. Mm, I've heard that for... Before. Dr. Slurp Saddle's famous tonic. Slurps. Mm. Internally or externally for pain and neuritis, neuralgia, headache. I prefer to take it internally. If you buy a truck, call your physician. Alcohol I'm talking about the spirit of the Lord, obviously. <laughs> oh, Seymour, you never know what this is gonna do for me. Uh, is she put, like pulling a pearl? Is it is it morphine? Is she getting fucked up right now? Oh, I can feel that surge of warm health going through me already. <laughs> I can feel it coming in my ass tonight. Yeah, and if Mr. Mushnick doesn't like it, he's gonna fire me. Apparently, my hearing is going out on me. I get the distinct impression that your job security depends on what Mushnick thinks of that thing. What the hell is that? This morning when I went to work, I wish I knew what to do with it. Well, if you asked me, I'd pitch it out in the trash. I don't like my house cluttered up with rotten vegetables. Look, Ma, I gotta hurry. Can I you can sit on it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bring me the evening news. They're running a, a self-diagnosis contest. The winner gets to go to Mayo Clinic. Ha, <laughs> ha. Bye, Ma. Not her, that being the prize that she's excited for is to go to the Mayo Clinic. To Mayo, and I will. I put this on my bill. This man is still eating the flowers. He has not left the establishment. He is just sitting there eating like he is at a McDonald's. Like it's a fucking golden corral. This ain't fucking old country buffet, bitch. His entire life. I don't care. I like it anyway. You, you like eating skunk cabbage. Yeah. What kind of a plant is this, Seymour? Well, I'm not sure. Suddenly. Just hit an Ariana Grande note, bitch. Cranberry farm. Fine, fine. You don't even know what is this plant you're growing. Well, well I gave it a name. What name? Oh, gee. What? You gave it a dirty name? You can't even mention it? Well, I named it Audrey Jr. <gasps> like Audrey Hepburn? Me? Oh, really? Well, that's the most exciting thing anyone's ever done to me. You poor kid. Name a plant oh, after you? You must have lived a boring ass life. Spending ten dollars a week on your salary. But Gravis. He named it after me. I know, and if they keep it, they'll name it Mushnick's Folly because I'll be in jail for non-payment of taxes. Are you crazy? Who, who? You, you. That's probably the only plant of its kind in the world. But you realize if Seymour can nurse that thing back to health, you'll have people coming here from all over? 
You think so? Isn't it just what, like what kind of plant is that? Is that like a Venus flytrap? What is it? It looks like a like a xenomorph. Act. Speaking of xenomorph, uh, Nicholas brought me to see Alien Romans. That shit was disgusting. Ugh. Maybe it's not so stupid. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll keep you and this dumbbell junior for a week. If you can noise it back to LG, you both can stay. If you can't, you're both fired. Oh, gee, thank you, Mr. Mushnick. Don't feel sad, Seymour. Don't waste your pity on me, Audrey. I'm not worth it. Who says you're not? Everybody. Who says you're not? I like her little accent, the way she's talking. I'm figurative of a man and... I know that Audrey Jr. will be the sweetest. Look at look at the look at the waist. Look at the waist. Look at the lack of like a rib cage. She, like she is not breathing, but damn, she looks good. Plant food and distilled mineral water you can buy, but it just gets sicker and sicker. Don't worry. You're gonna be another Luther Glendale. Pasadena. Burbank. Good night, Seymour. Ooh. Night, Audrey. She wants to drop it low. What's the matter, little plant? Haven't I done everything I could for you? Where did I goof? What's the matter, big guy? Plant, Haven't I done everything I can for you? Where you? Oh, I can't. Oh, 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 camera's on, camera's on. I'll get you some water, okay? What you need to get is the wedgie out of your ass. Opened up just like you do every night at sunset. Where have I heard that before? Here, let me move this out of your way so you can breathe. Ow! 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? Hey, what happened? What? How come you woke up? Blood? You Blood? Does that mean that there's somebody underneath the, 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 with their hand inside of it, making it, you know, you know, like this one time, oh my God, I was visiting Nicholas in Chicago and he, he brought me to this, he was like, oh, I'm gonna bring you to this restaurant. He brought me to this place called Steamworks. <sighs> Lots of things were steamed that night, honey. Oh, who would have thought it? Well, I guess there's just no accounting for people's tastes. This is something that I know to be true because let me tell you something. Addison Ray on that red carpet? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Disrespectful. The best person in the whole world. Look on him, Audrey. Isn't he beautiful? Isn't he delicious? Isn't he got the two dollar raise? Oh, was he? A oh, what you say? Queen. The fingers. These things. Uh, so how come I'm all of a sudden so wonderful? Five bees, one from each finger. Ten bees. Did you say I was getting a two dollar raise? Correct, my very excellent Seymour. Ten bees. What did I do now? Don't you know what you did? No. Uh -huh. He got a raise because he fed the oh, plant blood? Boy, look at that. It grew. It's almost a foot long. Isn't it empirical? It grows. It's actually a foot and a half, but you know, rulers only go to 12 inches. Please, what can Gravis Mushnik do for you? Well, we saw your sign outside. About the Audrey Jr. So we thought we'd come in and take a look. Well, give a look. That makes four people a day who've come in just to look at it. Oh, did sure. Is that just too much? Oh, what kind of plant is it? It's an Audrey Jr. Where was it you got in trouble with 10 bees? Well, is that all? I mean, doesn't it have a scientific name? Yes, of course, but who could denounce it? You oh, would like maybe... What? what is the scientific name? Well, we don't have any money. I would like to know. We have $2,000. Mm. But that's just to spend on flowers. So we don't have any of our own. Isn't that a drag? You got just $2,000 just for to spend on flowers? Mm -hmm. That's right. Two, wait, they gave them $2,000 to spend on flowers. $2,000. Okay, okay. Dropping bands. Gee, that sure is a mad plant. Wow, yeah. Seymour here in Vin. Geez, that sure is a mad plant. Ma. Oh, girls, 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 please don't oh. damage the horticulture is. Tell me, how come you don't buy all these thousands of flowers from Gravis Mushnik? My flowers got something the others don't. What's that? The cheek. Well, gee. The clap? Sure what? Good enough to develop the Audrey Jr. I guess it can get us everything we need. Yeah, we'll talk it over with the rest of the committee. Excellent. Well, we gotta run now. Bye, all. Bye, Seymour. Bye. Bye, girls. A son. 
A son. Look, Audrey. I got a son. A son? Uh, when yesterday? Oh, oh, oh no. Well. You should call me Mr. Mushnik anymore. I want you should call me Dad. Okay, Dad. Daddy. <laughs> Come over here, my son. I want to talk on you about the future. Look on this fly trap. Look on it. Soon we got no more Skid Row. We will be rich, us. Uh. I am building for you a giant greenhouse in which you are making impossible flowers, which in turn I am selling at ridiculous prices in my giant new flower saloon in Beverly Hills. Do you see that big sign in the sky? It is saying, Gravis. Jesus, are you listening? Jesus, I'm confused. Jesus. I'll come out in a gown wrapped by somebody expensive and say... The carnations are $600 a dozen, two dozen for a thousand. It's a bargain. Get them while they last. Stop shouting. My uncle... Mo Bitch, you came into my store. Don't be telling me what to do when you're in my store. You want to go into your house and tell me not to shop? That's fine. Come into here, asking for free shit, telling me how to run my own store. You got me... You came, you came to the wrong neighborhood, bitch. I have been letting him run around loose. Please, please excuse my son, Mrs. Shiva. Just point anything in the store and it is yours. I mean, that, that, that. That's right. She just points to his crotch. Maybe, huh? ah, wait a minute. Here. Here are several dozen carnations on the house courtesy of Gravis Mushnik the Bloom Tycoon. That's my dad. Thanks. Thanks very much. What is wrong? Only tell me. Why are you so happy? Not only did my uncle Moshe's brother and uncle die terribly new. I don't know that man. You should also give some flowers to that poor dead plant there. Ooh, th th sh she's a freeloader. Gold digging ass. Good morning, Mrs. Coming in here begging for free flowers. Bitch, just go and pick them off the front lawn like I used to do when I was a kid. And it was so beautiful just a few seconds ago. Excellent. Just a few seconds ago, I gave away dozens of carnations free to Mrs. Shiva. I didn't mean it. You have perhaps an explanation. No, but if you give me a minute, I'll think of one. I can see it all now. Oh, they need to feed it more blood. That big they should feed it that bitch that just came in. Reading Seymour Krellboy and rest in peace in Arabic. Oh, you've got to give him another chance. You promised me a week, Mr. Mushnik. I'll sit up all night with that plant. It'll be healthy in the morning. You'll see. I promise. Yeah, I yeah promise. but you're not going to have any f***ing blood left in your body. Feed me. Is that you, Lord? Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Ooh. Who said that? You said that. You said that. Mmm, feed me. N you said that. Like, what do you think in this situation? What do you think? Like, do you think, like, I have officially f***ing lost it? Yeah, feed me. Oh, boy. I never been to college and I ain't been around much. But I'd have been willing to bet there ain't no such thing as a talking plant. But I'll take your word for it. Or you just, uh, you know, like, look down and be like, what you hungry for? Eh. Shut up. But I used up all my fingers. Damn, pushy. Look at me, I'm all cut to pieces. But maybe I can find another drop here someplace. Ooh. 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 That's sick. That's the best I can do. More. More. But I'm already anemic. Feed me more. Or what? Gee, Junior, I'd be happy to give you anything I got, but I gotta keep a little blood for myself or I'll be in worse shape than Mom. Hmm. I'm sorry, Junior. Oh, I'll go for a walk. Maybe I'll think of something. He's gonna think of murder. He's gonna be like, what can I feed this thing to, to, to you know, give it a lot of, you know, girth, a lot of weight. You want, you want, you really want to feel its, its, its weight in your hand when you put it in your hand, you know? So I don't know, like, what kind of liquid can we put in it to, you know, get it bigger and harder and, no, sorry, sorry, distracted. Just hungry right now, I guess. Mm.
Is he gonna get hit by the train? What is he doing? Oh, 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 no, oh, then, well, you, it's like he laid down and accepted the train. Bitch, get up! And he just stands there, he just stands there. I go on, y'all. So he's gonna feed the body of this man to the plant. Oh, whatever, I didn't know him. wanted a hearse. I have always wanted a hearse. I remember Nick told me one time that when he was growing up, he used to ask his parents for a, a hearse as his first car. Eat me. Ugh, this damn plant. Look, chow hound. Don't bother me, I got problems of my own. Feed me! I'm sorry, pal, I'm a fresh out of blood. Talk to- He does look like he has problems. You know what, Seymour is a little bit cute though. Cause you know what, like he's like down on his luck and doesn't have a lot of money. He's got that struggle. You know, listen, if you know, you know. The type of men that kind of like look like they're gonna leave you in tears and also fuck up your credit score, that is the best kind of, mm. Maybe just a snack. That looks great. He said, give, give, give him a hand. <laughs> now that is what I call a salad. What do you call that salad? Cesarean. Well, before the next- A cesarean course, salad? What the f I ain't never heard of that. The only kind of salad I know about is the toss kind. Mm, look at you. Mm, get all of Indy's lips, honey. Mm, mm, mm. I found I left the money in the other suit. Here's your mock chicken legs. You don't have any money? You ain't got any money? Else is I'm out. All right, all right. I made a mistake. After all, a man is entitled. Go on, this is your story. I'll wait for the punch. Don't get smart with me, girlie. I'll have you know that in my shop in the cash register, I'm having the total day's receipts, which is summing up to more than $9. You'll bring the rest of the food, then I'll go to the shop and get the money. Nine dollars. Playing my favorite song. Nine dollars, cheap ass. Now look here, Buster. One of you is gonna go down right now and get the loot, while the other one stays here until the first one gets back, if you get what I mean. Oh, fine. In this fancy schmancy restaurant, you are holding hostages, right? All right. Ah! <laughs> I like her. <laughs> you eat up, Audrey. I'll be back in a flash with the cash. Bye, Gravis. Uh, the fact that this man is just fully feeding the plant like limbs, limbs. This is crazy. That is sick. You flush now, right? Bring me whiskey, rum, wine, gin, bourbon. What? Does your broke ass have the money to pay for it? Did you come back with that nine dollars big spender? Fuck me with the money. I got to get drunk now. What flipped him? I don't know. Look here. Here, take. 
take it. Bring me anything. Bring me everything. Creme de mint. Everything you got. Okay. This does not apply to me because I do not drink. I do not mess with any of that stuff. The drogas. I don't. No. No. Listen. What do I get high on? I'll tell you what I get high on. I get high on. In my own shop. Audrey, you wouldn't believe it. We should break out and tell me. All right. I'll tell you tomorrow, right after I am telling the police. But Mushnick didn't come to the police. If he had, that might have been the finish of the unhappy story. It was not. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> I mean, uh, you're gonna feed another body and the shit ain't gonna even fit in the shop. You're selling a half inches to this place, huh? Mr. Mushnick, we talked to the committee and they said we could use your flour on the flute. Hey, guess what? We're going to feature Audrey Jr. Right on top. No, right, right. Literally witnessed his employee feeding a dead body to the plant. But the second that that money talks the next day, the, the body, I never heard of it. You'll be so cute. Oh, you could just eat her up. Eat up the girls. Oh, there's Seymour! I can just eat you up. Now, Seymour, talk on me. I got a toothache. What do you want to talk about? Dead plant. Is that a nice subject for to talk? The plant. The plant is great. It's, it's four times bigger than it was yesterday. I saw. I saw. How come mm -hmm. the plant is now so big? You also saw. Don't act brand new. Look at all them people out there. The only I hope he ends up feeding his ass to the plant. Worth the business. Eighty-five. Now look, Seymour. You gave this plant a fancy name, Audrey Jr. But I want to know right now, what do just people call it? Well, it's a cross between a butterworth and a Venus flytrap. Venus flytrap. A butterworth. Like the biscuit? Well, the book says it eats insects. It eats them three times in its life, and then it's full grown. Excellent. And how many times is this one eat? Well, once or twice. You don't remember? Well, this is kind of an unusual type. Well, don't feed it too much. Then it's not going to be a little skinny legend anymore. You know, like me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at all this body, honey. Oh, my tooth is just killing me. All right, excellent. You run along to the dentist. I'll take care of things here. Thanks, boss. <laughs> We've got to order more flowers. Oh my God! Look at this outfit, this picnic print, bitch. Ooh! I'm making lots of money. <laughs> what? What? What is going on? What kind of f***ing Craigslist ass dentist is this? We're not ghetto. You keep your bill up to date, you deadbeat. <laughs> Y'all would have caught me in a different county, all right? By the time that that man ran out, they would have already been explaining to me how to f***ing, uh, you know, the parachutes and then the oxygen masks and shit. I would have been on the plane, gone. So, you are the young man who ruined my gladiolas, huh? Sit down. Come on. Guess ah. what? My tooth, tooth stopped, stopped hurting. hurting. Yes, I know. Let's see. Shut up and open up. Uh -huh. I've heard that before. Ah. Ah, ah. Does that hurt? Yeah. Good. You haven't felt anything yet. Oh, 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 oh. I, oh, no. Oh, no, honey. Oh, no. Honey. Oh, no. I would have passed out. I'll find that tooth. Hmm. Well, I'll find that tooth, bitch. There's only one place to look. Stalagmite. Uh, but don't worry, it's gonna be an easy one, Seymour. I won't even use Novocaine. Oh, you're you know, I was dating this girl in college, back, you know, back in New York City. Listen, I have a thing with teeth. I love a good set of teeth on a man, but you know, back then I was a little bit confused. I, I, I didn't know what was going on. And we were I was talking about that with this girl, right? And I was talking about the teeth, and she was like, I got a tooth to show you. It ain't in my mouth. Oh, don't be uh, I, 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 uh, oh. Look at that. We 
you look at that, Seymour? I didn't know you were an elk. Look. You know, I can't... An elk? So I get this ready, instant mix. It doesn't last very long, but it tastes good. Mm. All right, Seymour. Oh, stay away from me. No, Seymour. no, no. You're trying to kill me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> is this startup's office? Oh! Oh my god! Oh, King, 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 look at him! One day, I'm gonna top him. Oh, yes. <laughs> I see it is. Oh, he was so handsome when he was younger. Oh, I mean, he also looks like he would like, you know, kill you and, you know, cut you up and hide the body, but you know, it's the 90s. Wilberforce what? Just Wilberforce. My first name is Wilbur, my last name is Force. <laughs> I don't have a middle name. Well, you have an appointment. Yeah, I don't have a middle name. <laughs> Send it to me by one of your patients, a Mrs. As Shiva, I do a lot of undertaking for her relatives. <laughs> well, as you can see, I have a customer now, and I'm all booked up for the rest of the day, so you'll have to come back tomorrow. Oh, I couldn't do that. I have three or four abscesses. I couldn't do that. Abscess. Oops. Nine or ten. Diarrhea. Yummy. I lost my pivot tooth, and I'm in terrible pain. <laughs> well, ooh, ooh, a little good. bit of that Joker laugh oh, coming out. That's all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll just wait outside. <laughs> uh, he looks so much like his son if y'all have seen his son he's in smile too i haven't watched that yet you know i'm waiting to watch it for the channel when it comes out i think it comes out on digital pretty soon so if i'm gonna watch it for my channel you, you should expect it within the next five years but uh ooh, on the cover on the poster he looks crazy honey there were other complications <laughs> the man had cancer tuberculosis leprosy and a touch of the grip. <laughs> I decided to operate. My my patient just left. You, you could come in now. Oh, goody. He's gonna operate on this? Oh my god, oh. I didn't see the other man leave. Well, he went out the back door. You know, most people don't like to go to the dentist, but I rather enjoy it myself, don't you? <laughs> I mean, there's such, there's a real feeling of- What is wrong with this man? Like, oh, like, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, uh, keep him 100 feet away from a playground at all times, bitch. I'd almost rather go to the dentist than anywhere, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> now, no Novocaine, it dulls the senses. <laughs> This is gonna hurt oh, him more than he's, he's into that freaky shit. Goody, goody, here it comes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Back on your stop. I don't like the sound. Ah, I don't like the sound. I don't like the sound. I don't like the sound in my ears. I don't like the. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I gotta fill it up with this here silver stuff. Well, aren't you gonna pull any? You want? Uh, who's pulling who? Go on. Well, to your mouth. Oh, 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 stretch, oh, yeah, oh, stretch, stretch, come on, feel them hamstrings. Was it good for you? No, ma'am. I can truly say I've never enjoyed myself so much. I'll recommend you to all my friends. Thank you. Bye. Bye now. Oh, he dished it up good. You know what? I think I'm feeling a different vibe right now. What do you think? All right, that's about it. I don't know. I, it, was, it was hot in here. I just, oh, you know. Oh, mm, mm. Dracula, what do you think I'm carrying here? My dirty laundry? What? Not. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming already. I'm feeding another man to this thing. Should be enough for anybody. Like, he's not afraid that like he's gonna get caught by the police or anything like that, you know. I'm a crummy dentist, but you were a nice fella. I never meant to kill anybody in my whole life. I've killed two in the last two well, days. Well, you know, mistakes happen, and you know, it's Saturday.
Fun voyage, Dr. Farb. You want anything else? <coughs> Sergeant Joe Fink, homicide. It's me, Joe. Come on in, Frank. How's the wife, Frank? Not bad, Joe. Glad to hear it. The kids? Lost one yesterday. Lost one, eh? How'd that happen? Playing with matches. Well, right. you know, when it's your time, it's your time. Got a strange one here. Railroad people say they lost one of their best detectives the other night. Oh, yeah? If the Lord will lead you to it, the Lord will lead you through it. Ice thieves. Oh, yeah? What happened? Don't know. Vanished. Blood on tracks. Clues? None. Anything else? Dennis. Farb. Dead? Missing. Clues? Blood in office. Where? Skid Row. Ideas? None. Check it out. Ooh, yep. yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at the way he just shuts that in there. Mm. Sorry, 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 sorry. Mm. Now we were on the case. Officer Frank Stooley and me. My name is Fink. I mean, it's not like it's gonna be a hard, you know, uh, you, you don't gotta detect too much. I mean, he just stands in front of these fucking open windows feeding bitches to this shit. Jesus Christ. Morning, Mr. Mushnick. Oh, boy, look at that. Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. You know, she might be pretty, but it's, it's given, like, you know, the lights are on, but no one's home. Hi, everybody. I just think that you did it. Don't you like me to kiss you? Yeah, but you don't like to kiss me. Kiss me on my lower mouth. Nobody else ever did. Well, I do like to. You do? You really do? You like to kiss me? Sure I do. Would you like to kiss me again? Mm, I haven't heard that since my uncle. Mm. Oh, kiss good, Audrey. Oh, I guess I just have a good kisser. How, how, how did it? Did, did, did. Would you like to go out on a date with me some night? When? Oh, sure I would, Seymour. Anytime. Oh, I'm so lonely. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, about that plant. We got the list of flowers for the float, for the rose parade. I can't talk to you now, girl. These bitches keep running in here day after day after day after day, day after day. We got $2,000, we got $2,000. Y'all can't buy yourself a new outfit. You had the same clothes on for the last three days. You're coming in here trying to buy my flowers and shit. Step your pussy up, honey. Get a job. Hello, Mr. Shiver. What's new? Oh, I'm Shivers. <laughs> My nephew Frankie just lost his little boy. Oh, that's too bad. How did it happen? He was playing with matches. Would you like to buy me? What the? F what, what is wrong with her family? Is that everybody been lit on fire? Get him for you. Look at my plan. I'm looking. What do you got these two? We heard that a murder happened here, see? Oh, sure. Trying to get the information, see? Questions. Questions ask me. Just want to ask you a few questions. I, I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever. Ever see this man? Man, see picture. Why are you so nervous? You got a guilty conscience? No, why should I? Ever see this man? Man, uh, see the, the, the picture, Dr. Farr. So you know him? And my dentist, uh, he, he, he maybe did something. Disappeared. Oh. Is camera still running? Okay. That, that, uh, Dr. Farb is murdered. Is he? No, who knows? Not me. What do you think? He doesn't know anything. Okay, Mushnik. If you hear anything about these men, call our office. Sure, I'll be glad to cooperate with the police. Hello, I'm sitting. Oh, isn't it terrible what happened to your boyfriend, Keith? Those are the brakes. Boyfriend? He was a All right. Oh, little shop of inclusive horrors. He's all grown up. He's finished all growing up. You wouldn't kid your father. My father came home. Me, idiot. It's a finger of speech. Now, look. I can't stand any more of that plant. It's growing me out of house and home. Well, it ain't gonna grow anymore, I promise. How can you be so sure? It ate three times already. Who, I mean, what did it eat this? I thought it wasn't gonna grow anymore either, but then I saw Daniel Kluge, oh. There's a lady from some kind of a commitment outside. I think it's important. Excellent. 
By the by, I understand you want to take Audrey out on a date tonight. That's very good. Get that back crack. Uh, With that glazed over look in your eyes, we're gonna go down the street and get you a f***ing copy of Hooked on Phonics, bitch, cause damn. I got a great idea. We can eat dinner at my house. My mom's a great cook. Well, that's swell. Oh, boy, I'll call her later and tell her. Oh, boy, I'll call her later and tell her. <laughs> oh, that's remarkable. You like? Oh, I, neither I like, like this bone structure, like anything, bitch. My goodness. I happen to represent the Society of Silent flower observers of Southern California. How about this? Sounds like a bunch of virgins. Who created this magnificent blue? I did, me. <laughs> Is it in a coffee can? This? Well, to tell me, Mr. Krellboyne, uh, is this a freak, or, or can more be raised from the sea? We should live so long. Well, I don't think they're going to be any more, Miss... Uh, Fushtwanger. Mrs. Hortense. I want to shop where she's shopping, because th this look is Sir Bing... Fushtwanger. Fushtwanger? Uh, it's probably indigestible anyway. <laughs> At any rate... Yeah, look, I have this, this, honor to I mean, anymore. I don't know if this one knows that, you know, that we've been murdering bitches, but if, if he did, like, y'all, those cops don't have to do much, you know, actual police work. Not that, you know, they in general, that they do a lot of police work, anyway, but, uh, Tell me, when do you suppose those large buds will open? Well, I don't know about those buds, but I got a rosebud. Very well. Then I shall return at that time to present the trophy. Good day. Sorry, uh, I just forgot where I was at. Oof. Oh, boy, I'm going to get a trophy. Oh, Seymour, I'm so proud of you. Oh, a real trophy for Audrey Jr. We can put it on the floor in the rope parade. Oh, boy. Ooh, they need to calm down. They see money, and they're just trying to spread it like peanut butter. Look at me. I I'm a terrible sight. I I'm a complete sea hag. She always says that. <laughs> oh, well, it's true. <laughs> Feeling, a really? sea hag. Audrey, this is my ma, Winifred Krellboing. Ma, this is Audrey Fulquart. She's my girl. Hi. Did you see the way she held out? Sure am. Uh, I could eat a her. Uh, Let's get the first course. <laughs> Sit here, Audrey. You want me to take your sweater? Well, yeah. Good thing they're sharing cash, man. Never mind that. Uh, well, now try this. What? What? What is that? Is she poisoning them? Is she poisoning her? My cough syrup. Is uh, Norma? 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 Hey, Queen. A toast to Audrey Junior. No, to Audrey Senior. To Audrey Hepburn. Mm. So he's sitting guard outside the plant to prevent anybody else from being able to touch it. He's really concerned about the security of this plant and he doesn't have shades on the windows. Gee, Audrey, you sure look good by candlelight. Oh, do I really see more? Yeah. She was talking to the empty chair. I don't even understand how she got dressed this morning. It's different. Some kind of oil, isn't it? God, liver oil. Ugh. For the cold. What the f***? And that's sulfur powder on the top. S sulfur powder? Ooh. Heat about that. Munch on that ass. Feed me. Feed me. Open it is. Feed me. 
<laughs> useless say please. I didn't hear it. Feed me. I heard it. I want food. A talking place. See, I can't do that. I can't do it. A needy man. Like I ugh, listen, listen. I like my space. I like my alone time. And ugh, ugh, to have a man just ugh, like get the f away. Ugh, no, give me your dick and get out. Ooh. We not only got a talking plant, we got one that makes with smart cracks. Will you listen to me, you botanical bum? Food you wouldn't get. Not from Gravis Mushnik. Mushnik. Excellent. You would unpopulate the old Skid Row. Well, you can forget about it. You wouldn't get fed from Gravis Mushnik tonight. Good night. You get your. Listen, you mm, hold on. Hold on. Mm, 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 mm. Yep. Mm, plenty of gold around here on Skid Row. Mm. Tastes a little bitter. It's because it's made of Chinese herbs and it's flavored with acromias and Epsom salts. There ain't another cook in a whole world like mine. Y'all y'all are that level of poor? Sulfur powder and Epsom salt, bitch? You want a box of Crayola crayons to go with it? They're non toxic. Yeah. Who has them? Seymour. Seymour's too young to get Seymour. married. Seymour. A boy's got to go out and play around a little bit. Go out on the make and have a ball. Not the mother telling her son, oh, you should, could, shouldn't get married to this dim-witted beauty over here. You should go out and spread that 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 bum seed around. Ugh. Well, it ain't easy. It ain't easy, son. That's a nasty bitch. You know who she kind of reminds me of? She reminds me of uh, that, that, that gross mother from uh, Halloween Ends. Corey's mother. Oh, nasty bitch. Boys who keep secrets don't get custard for dessert. Who is this? Yeah, we can't see you. Somebody here. Black hat, 13th John, Fanita, 13th stupid superstition. Kill her, mommy. Don't let her get away. Don't let her get away, mommy. I won't, Jason. I won't. Old and sick, I wouldn't know you'd even apply. Come out in the light where I can see you. Man, please don't shoot. Please, please. I'm only Gravis Mushnik. You wouldn't want to kill me. Where would you hide the body? Uh, well, probably in the digestive tract of this giant f***ing plant to our left. I mean... Anything in my life. I wouldn't try anything now. You want my money? Take it. You want I should go out and steal you some more? That's all right, too. I'll do it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like your brand of hospitality. You need to be introduced to a brand of shampoo, because look at your f***ing hair. Looking like you styled that shit with Crisco. They must have spent some money. Where is it? There ain't no more money. They came in to look on the plant. It's a big attraction. Audrey Jr. Plant. Don't try to slow me, Jim. 30,000 squares didn't come in here just to look for a plant. I want it. I don't got it. Okay, let's try this. One, two, three. Do it. Do it. Do it. Four, Can you nine, imagine? Nine, no Can you imagine? Nine, 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 nine. All right, try it the other way around. Five, four, three, two. All right. All right, I'm ready. See, I, 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 don't, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Like, I feel like if I was in a movie, like I was on the set and, and, and shit, like having to film with guns, like, oh, you know, when you take a picture of 321, you know, uh, cheese, you know, they go to shoot the gun. 321, Alec Baldwin! <laughs> you get it open? Just knock. Oh, oh, okay, he's feeding him. Climb up in this damp moss, honey. In there. Mm. In there. Inside. In the bottom. I don't see anything. He's inside, inside. with the bottoms. Right in the bottom. <laughs> that is not the crevice you want to be sticking your head in. <laughs> <laughs> Care what you got at a date with Audrey tonight? I am no more sitting up with that no good new plant. So, like, what happens if they just don't sit up at the plant? If they go home like a normal person, what what is the plant gonna do? Break through the windows and devour? Well, at night. Because tonight you are staying. 
Then tomorrow they're coming and they're going to give you a trophy, and then after that we are getting rid once and for all for that plan. Getting rid of it? Why? Don't ask why, why. The end. Into the why, why? Oh, and couldn't you just like boy. put some like, I don't know, weed killer on it? Seymour, you're a wonderful plant. Oh, that's all right, Audrey. I'll grow up. Seymour! You're a wonderful plant, Seymour! Yeah, we're going to a place full of. Like, does she need help houses. crossing the street? We have to stay here. Yeah. She look good, though. Never mind. We'll have a picnic. It'll be just like going to the country. Oh, you boy. Get 3,000 pink azaleas for the arbor and the 9,000 yellow moms for the, for, for the border. Yeah, and the, yeah. the roses and we, for the front for and the back. No, around the back. What do you mean you're going to a picnic at night with that full cord girl? Don't you like Audrey Ma? She's out after your money. That ain't what he, she's after. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not what she is after. She'll latch on to you until you get some and then good. What is she doing? But Audrey's an honest girl, Ma. Yeah, never trust a woman who's too healthy. But Audrey had a bad cold a couple of weeks ago. Oh, a cold, a puny cold. Why don't you get yourself a real female with something decent like manana eucleosis or, or gallstones? I'm telling you, as a human being, it is weird. Sanitarium, leave me to chiropractors and faith healers. I know when I'm not wanted. Oh, oh gee, Ma. Don't feel sorry for me. I'll just find a nice wet alley somewhere and curl up and wait for the end. Oh, yeah, well, the, the, you know, the window's over there. I can introduce you to the alley real quick. We're four floors high. Gee, Audrey, I never tasted food like this before. The peanut butter and jelly. We got a little shit in it. Peanut butter and jelly, what does that cure? Nothing, it's just a food. What good is it if it doesn't clear up pimples or shrink your sinus tissues or something? You're just being silly, Seymour. You're just being silly, Seymour. I want to be. <laughs> oh, I want to grow things. If I had a lot of money, I'd go to the South Seas where they grow the most fabulous plants in the world. Well, that sounds exciting. Yeah. Speaking I'd like to of... go to the South Seas, too. Would you take me with you, Seymour? Oh, I couldn't very well go without you, Audrey. Why not? She means she needs you to guide her. How's she gonna get down the block on her own? What'd you say? I, I was just kidding. <laughs> I'm hungry. Seymour. I didn't mean it. Seymour. Why did you say it? Oh, food. You didn't even say that. Oh yes. I I was about to be like, how does this bitch not know that the plant is alive yet? Then I remember who we're dealing with. I'm a ventriloquist. You're what? A ventriloquist. Feed me. Seymour, do you feel all right? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, then stop all this nonsense and kiss me. I'm dying from hunger! All right. If you well, die! Shit! Oh, God! Uh, who has the time? Oh. I need some chow! Oh. Uh, an empty stomach! Audrey, please wait. Listen to me. I've listened to all the nonsense I want to hear, Seymour. You're a nut! You tell me that you love me, and then you act like a complete idiot. Please listen, Audrey. I'll be able to explain everything soon. Well, it's, it's not a matter that she's not listening. She just can't understand. She doesn't physically, she wasn't born with the, you know, the capability. You seem to really hate her. Take care of mom. Well, that plant in there is going to make it all come true. Tomorrow they're going to give me a trophy and I'll be famous. I'll be a big botanist. And then we can go to the South Seas, just like we planned and all. But that doesn't have anything to do with what went on in there. When you're ready to come to your senses, Seymour, then I'll talk to you. Good night, Seymour. She said, until you're ready to be a man, these knees are locked. Mm -hmm. I'm getting pretty tired of you. Oh, I thought he was going to jump in it. I don't care what you need. Look what you've done to me. You not only made a butcher out of me, but you drove my girl away. Shut up and bring on the food! Don't tell me to shut up. You shut up. Who raised you from a bunch of little seeds? Who fed you all them high-class fertilizers and sat up all night with you when you were sick? Nobody else would have done that for you. Do you think anybody else would have brought you human beings to eat? No, I'm sorry. I, I haven't said anything in a while, you know. I'm still here. 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 What did he call him? A proud boy? What? You are asleep. Open your eyes. 
open your eyes. Now you will do as I say. The Wait, the, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The, the, the plant has powers? And find me some food. Yes, master. Now be gone and waste no time. Oh, I mean, all this damn talk about food. I am hungry. Oh, what do I want? What do I want? Mm, KFC with Popeye. Oh, y'all, let me tell you something. When I was back in high school, my ass was so big that it had its own gravitational pull. And I used to go down to the corner store. I used to go, well, first I would go to KFC. And then, like, I would have Popeye's and shit. And, like, like I'd, walk, I'd walk in. They would already know my order. But then I would go down to the bodega on the corner. And I would get some Suzy Q's and some Little Debbie's. And, oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm hungry. Oh. I mean, honestly, everybody on the street looks a little drunk. Hey, hey, hey! Coño, maldita sea, coñazo. Who is this? Why she? Oh, 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 oh! She wants it. She wants it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if you find a little uh, better leave-in conditioner, then make it notice. I don't know. Oof. The things that I have done with a banana. My name is Leonora Clyde. How My name. Master is hungry. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. What, what, what was her purpose? What was the reason? What was the reason? Well, hello there. What? Why does she keep it? Is, is she that horny? Is that what this is? She's just really horny? I gotta find food for master. Food I gotta find for master. For master, I gotta find food. Maybe I can help. Listen, I have had some dry spells in my life, but I have never been like the fucking Sahara over here. Like, uh, th to this extent? Listen, take advice out of my book. You don't have to chase it if you always leave the door open. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> That's more like it. Kiss me. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Too don't you like me? Too bony. Nobody ever told me that before. Beef is better than veal. Ah, oh, you're such a dodo. What do you call this? Chopped liver? Ooh, what do you call this? <laughs> Chopped liver? Master would like more fat. Speak for yourself, John. My name is Seymour. My name is Seymour. My name That's is my Seymour. That's my name too. Seymour, Seymour. Uh, we we need to. What do we? What do we gotta do? We gotta uh, clap our hands three times. How do we gotta break them out of this shit? Sure, I do. All right, if you're sure you want to volunteer. All right, my place or yours? I don't care. Well, flip a coin. I don't have a coin. Flip anything, silly. Well, there's a rock. Oh, oh. Wet or dry? Wet. <laughs> I mean, well, you know. <sighs> the search was narrowing, and we knew that soon we would have the killer. Not that we had any more clues than before, but we had to tell the chief something. I had that feeling in my bones that the mystery was drawing to its climax, and I was determined to be on hand. All right, out, out, out. Nobody is in. Today we have a special occasion for Seymour Crowboyne, which has invented the big plan. So I want everybody should please stay out of the way. We want Seymour! We want Seymour! We want Seymour! 
I don't I, I, I don't listen to demands unless it has a dollar amount attached to it. Okay, so the, let me let me see how many zeros you're writing on that check. Being a conductor in a revoluting door. What the 1920s flappers party is she going to? Like, ma'am, who let you out of the home? Run away from home? Please don't look at me that way, Audrey. I want to talk to you. Audrey doesn't even know that you're standing in front of her. Ugh. Society of Silent Flower Observers has arrived and sunset is almost upon us. Welcome, lady and gentlemen. We are honored for to have you. Still working on those disappearances. We think they were murdered. Hey, look here, young man. That's no way to talk Murdered. About. They were murdered. Uh -huh. Now, what you got? Just the facts, ma'am. Trench mouth. I know. I had it back in 09. Better have that looked into, Frank. Whatever you what, say. Uh, what is trench mouth? Uh, Mr. Crowboy. Uh, the sun is going down now, and uh, you do think those buds are going to open? I hope so. Because if they don't, Mr. Krellboy, we shall just have to present the award at another time. Oh, oh it's starting to open! Mark! She's blooming. Oh, look, the first bud is open. Mm. <laughs> what the f? Isn't that the railroad cop? Look at the rest. Ugh. That shit's nasty. I mean, I still f it, but ugh. What do you think, Frank? <laughs> the dramatics of it all. Yes, you're right. Mr. Crowboy, how do you explain this? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. That's right, officer. He didn't mean to kill them. Seymour, my... you promised you'd explain. Looks like they're getting away, Joe. Yes, you're right. It's not everybody immediately, but just blaming Seymour like he was the only one that was feeding people to this thing. Oh, now the float will be perfect. Yeah. They walked on this set from a different movie. Like, ugh. they walked out of the fucking fifth floor of the psychiatric ward. Something. Oh God, I remember every day back in New York City, I used to have to like walk down to this to get, to get on the subway. Y'all, I hate taking the subway. I hate, it's, oh, it's just nasty. And there's always things, people, like people will get pushed. It is, it, it, something is going on in New York. Oh, oh no. But I did, you see, you know, there was this, this one homeless guy that lived down there and his name was Trey and I, I oh my God. And, and he used to, you know, uh, it was like three for five dollars and he would tell me these, you know, little jars of his, of his, of his pee. And, um, you know, I used to uh, take that in, in my little lunch bag or, uh, you know, my little, in my case, and I bring that in and I drink, uh, drink that on, you know, my lunch break with my little Debbie's and shit, you know. Okay, let's move on. doing with all the tires like what the tire yard This is, this, this is camp. This is camp, this is camp. Listen, I ain't like them other bitches on YouTube, you know, you know all, all the gays out there calling, you know, the second that something is bad. It's camp, it's mother. Oh, daddy, mother, this is so camp. Like, shut the f up, just shut up. Y'all, like, ugh, the gays these days, y'all. Camp is one thing, bad is another. Some people need to learn the difference. <laughs> Oh, this is so many f***ing toilets. Is there any dinner in any of them? Mm.
You wouldn't find him here with the toilets. Let's go back. You find me there. That's right. Is there any left in there? Can you put some in a, you know, a little sandwich bag for me? You might get a package later. You dirty rat plant! You messed up my whole life! Big me! I'll feed you. <laughs> plant y'all. I'll feed you like you've never been fed before! What? Did he just walk to his own death? Well, I don't know. Why would you get- Why? Why? Why would you even do that? You know what it seems like though? Uh, it makes sense. It seems like he's he's doing, you know, he's on his white behavior. Cause you have white and then you have wrong. The white behavior, you know, that that's that's what causes people to do that kind of thing. He was such a good boy. Oh! I cannot, y'all got me up. Oh. Seymour, Seymour. Seymour. If he hanging, we banging. Phone ringing, he's singing. It ain't karaoke night, but get the mic cause I'm singing. Ah! Oh, honey, 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 honey. Let me tell you something. That movie was out of control. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, you know, my, my other self went to take a shit, you know. But this, this, this was on some other level, some other type of shit. I, oof, too much? But I want to see more. I am gagged, but I did really, really much so enjoy it. Now, now, Miss Dum Dum, uh, you know, she could have, you know, afforded a, a couple IQ points, but she, mm, honey, she looked stunning, gorgeous, beautiful, ethereal. And this damn plant, honey, let me tell you something, honey, about this plant, nasty, nasty, nasty. And not like the good kind of nasty, you know, kind of like the nasty that'll throw you up against the wall and choke you and leave you in the hospital the next day. Mm -mm -mm. This was, um, this was taking the bite out of my ass. I ain't never getting back. Now, but before I go, I gotta tell you, y'all better keep it right and keep it tight. And until next time, honey, bye. <laughs>